Welcome back guys, this is Matt and today we're gonna see how to remove a watermark from any video. Now this tutorial is gonna involve uh, the use of After Effects, so it's a tiny bit more complicated to what we've usually done so far. So it's not a simple drag and drop on a website or a simple software, but the result that you're gonna have is much more professional and it's gonna look way better. The tutorial is still very simple and I'm gonna guide you step by step so you won't have any problem uh, doing it by yourself at home. Now, After Effects has a cost, but they offer a seven day free trial on uh, on any of their uh, actually Adobe Suite. So you can either try Photoshop, After Effects, Premiere, whatever it is. Uh, but if you need to do uh, to remove a watermark from a video, you can always download it, try it for seven days at no cost, and then cancel it anytime after. I left a link in the description for you to download it and have it ready to use to follow this tutorial. So the first thing that we need to do is open After Effects and we're gonna have a page that looks like this and what we need to do is click New Composition from Footage and here I'm gonna open this website oh sorry this and here I'm gonna open this video As you can see, the video has a watermark that I made uh, before in Premiere that says watermark removal, and it goes on and on throughout the whole video. Now I'm gonna shorten the video a little bit just to, uh, just to make the render quicker and to show you guys the result uh, faster. But the same thing applies if I had uh, left the the full length of the video. So the first thing that we want to do is have uh, the video imported in a timeline, in a sequence like it is right now and this is where you will be if you follow all the steps so far. Next we need to go ahead and select the pen tool and we want to create a mask all around our watermark like this. Now, uh, in order to see the mask in, in, lo in your layers on the top left here where my mouse is, you need to scroll down where it says mask, scroll down again with this arrow, and this mask is gonna appear. What I usually do is scroll down once again, and when it says mask feather, I will just increase it a little bit like to a 30% I think is uh, good and when it says add I will go down and choose subtract because we want to remove that watermark then after these uh, steps are done you will end up with something that looks like this and obviously it goes through the whole video but this is obviously not done yet because it's almost worse than it was before so uh, I already have it open here, this window is content aware film, where you probably see is something like this, which is a drop down menu. And you just want to go ahead and click on it. And this window is going to pop up. And uh, what this effect does is this, I don't know if you guys are familiar with Photoshop, but it would uh, create content uh, that blends uh, perfectly with the surrounding of the selection that we have made that in our case is this mask so in order to do so we need to select uh, object in fill method range is the work area the work area is simply the area that goes between these two blue lines here I can always make the work area bigger or smaller and then we want to click to uh, generate fill layer now it's going to ask us where to save because it's going to create a, a Adobe Effects projects and I can just save it on the desktop or whatever you guys want to save it. Click save. I'm going to replace it. And now it's going to analyze uh, the, 
video and our mask in order to create this uh, layer. As you can see, once it's done uh, analyzing, it's gonna first uh, render, and then when it's done rendering, we're gonna have a perfectly seamless video with no uh, watermark. Now, sometimes it can happen that uh, once you finish to analyze, you might have some random objects inside your mask. That simply means that you did the mask too wide. What I will try to do all the time is to create the mask as close as the watermark edge as possible. I hope you found this video uh, helpful and interesting and uh, like. I hope you found this video interesting and helpful and remember to subscribe and like it for more content. <laughs>